A chest of drawers, also known as a dresser, is a type of cabinet furniture that has multiple parallel horizontal drawers generally stacked one above another. In American English, a dresser is a piece of furniture usually waist high that has drawers and normally room for a mirror. In British English, a dresser or a Welsh dresser has shelves in the upper section for storing or displaying tableware. Chest of drawers have traditionally been made and used for storing clothing, especially underwear, socks and other items, not normally hang in or otherwise stored in a closet. They are usually placed in a bedroom for this purpose, but can actually be used to store anything that will fit inside and can be placed anywhere, in a house or another place. Various personal sundry items are also often stored in a chest of drawers. It has a long history as one of the standbys of a carpenter's workshop. A typical chest is approximately rectangular in overall shape and often has short legs at the bottom corners for placement on the floor. Hello, hello reviewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you metal frame chest of drawer and metal frame buffet design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these designs to try to make your own items at home. Watch the video until then to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. For all the subscribed members, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Chests of drawers often come in 5, 6 and 7 drawer varieties with either a single or a double top drawer. They are commonly made of wood, similar to many other kinds of furniture, but of course can be made of other materials. The inside of the drawers can be accessed by pulling them out at the front side. It's often placed so that the back side faces a wall since access to the back is not necessary. The, later, the lateral sides are also usually made such that they can be placed against a wall or in a corner. Although they can be plain in appearance, chests of drawers can also be made with a fancy or ornamental appearance including finishes and various external color tones. Traditionally, drawers with a slide out on smooth wood rails. Most modern cabinets use roll-out shelf sliders made of metal with rollers. First invented in China by physician Hua To, 180 to 208 CE, the chest of drawers were often used for storing different types of medicine and called hundred drawers. In late medieval Europe, the chest came into widespread use, especially in homes of the nobility. This type, also known as a coffer, was more or less a simple joint wooden box with a hinged lid. It may or may not have stood on feet. An early transitional phase were the installation of one drawer beneath this main compartment. A number of early pieces from the 17th century are extant of oak manufacture from England, and corresponding 17th century pieces of French walnut have survived. Whether you call it a chest of drawers or a dresser, this extremely functional piece of furniture has been made and invented for storage purposes, regardless of what people have been storing within it throughout the years. This household item has been reinvented and designed to adapt to various interiors and uses since it was first created. Whether it has been transformed, transformed into a chiffor bay, which is a combination of a wardrobe 
and the chest of drawers or simply given different proportions to store more or less items or has been converted into a Welsh dresser which has shelves used to store tableware the chest of drawers has and always will be used for the storage of numerous items Traditionally, this commonly used piece has been used to store clothing, in particular underwear and socks, amongst other items that would not be hanged in a closet. This has led to the chest of drawers regularly being placed in the bedroom. Eventually, the chest of drawers became known to be used for all different kinds of clothing that could be placed within it and didn't have the need to be wrinkle free for work in more professional settings such as suits and dresses. Most versions have been made with a rectangular shape that has four feet to keep it off the floor. It is commonly made out of wood but has been constructed with metals as well for use within industrial environments such as factories and workshops. The furnishing of this substantial size is usually placed against the wall or positioned in the corner of a room. Throughout the many eras of design that have become dominant influences in the world of furniture manufacturing, the chest of drawers has most definitely been adapted to reflect these different periods. For example, possibly the most notably seen design style to garnish a chest of drawers is a style which produced typically rounded vine-like ornamental details that were carved into the wood itself. When it comes to height, this furnishing usually comes in three different standard heights, the first being waist high, followed by bench high chests, and lastly shoulder height chests. All of these adaptations have a table space that can be used for accessories. In most instances, the waist and chest head versions are accompanied by mirrors. These mirrors have been known to be connected as a second piece to the back of the chest, which turns in, into an adapted dressing table. This iconic piece attached to a mirror has been a popular piece amongst furniture manufacturers for what seems like decades and maybe even a century now. If you are looking for a chest of drawers to fit in with your industrial decor, you may be interested in a metal version that can accompany the rest of your interior. Whether you are after a larger shoulder head chest or waist head drawers and even smaller types that can be used as a side table or bedside table for your bed, there are endless styles and variants that are available to complete the vintage industrial furniture look. With the most popular industrial version being the metal made piece that has the appearance of a workshop furnishing used to store tools and blueprints. Incorporating a vintage chest of drawers in your vintage industrial furniture decor is a great idea and could complete the overall look by adding an industrial focal point that can be accented by electric accessories and pieces to bring the room together. Using a variety of different styles in combination with industrial pieces will create a balance of styles. 
A smaller width and height sized industrial chest would be beautifully placed next to a bed as vintage bedside tables or as a retro side table on either side of a dark leather sofa. Not only would this provide a nice place for a lamp and other accessories, but it would be a great storage addition for many little objects and items that would be otherwise left on a crowded coffee table. A waist-high chest of drawers with a regular width would be a great addition to the vintage industrial style entranceway or hallway underneath a mirror or painting. For a vintage industrial furniture look, an old movie poster or framed antique blueprints would be great and complete the industrial look you're looking for. Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting metal frame chest of drawers and metal frame buffet design ideas for you in exploration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now, you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your project from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.